Jar 6. So real quick, I wanted to show you two techniques that I use to reload my gun, and they call uh, Condition 1, and essentially the reason why it's called Condition 1 is because it's the status of the gun. The gun is at Condition 1, meaning that it's a round in the chamber. And the other one is out of ammo. And now, I know there's a lot of fancy terms out there in the YouTube community, uh, tactical reload, combat reload, emergency reload, administrative reload. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't, I don't know those... Uh, I guess I'm not cool enough, but uh, uh, I would tell you about uh, Condition 1 Reload and out of ammo reload because I learned them in the military. Alright, so two things that I don't like to do. One is as you're reloading the gun, a lot of guys do this, and they call this my space where they could work on the gun. I don't like doing that personally because the gun is facing up. Now, again, guys, this is just my opinion. If you like it your way, I'm not an expert. If it works for you, continue doing your way. This is just my opinion. So, again, guys, I don't, I don't like co coming up here because the muscle is facing up. Uh, the enemy is not up there. So, I, I like coming down here a little bit better. And then the other thing I don't like to do real quick, guys, is coming down and dropping the magazine. A lot of guys would, would drop the magazine and get another magazine and reload. Me personally, I don't like dropping the magazine and the main reason why is because by the time that you drop the magazine on the floor, you may not be able to pick it up. You get into a firefight, now you lost your bag. First of all, magazines are expensive and, and in some type of a scenario where you cannot get reload, uh, uh, you know, support, where, where are you gonna get more magazines? So don't train that way. Train like you fight, create muscle memory and don't train that way. All right guys, so real quick, Here's condition one reload. Essentially what it means is that you got a round in the chamber, you got the enemy, uh, you, you're getting into a firefight. Now you got two, three seconds and you want to top up your magazine with a fresh magazine. So you bam, 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 bam. Uh, you want to top your magazine. So you come down here, guys. You're still facing down to the enemy. You drop your magazine, put it wherever place you're going to put it. You get your fresh magazine and you're back in business. So now you went from having a magazine that possibly have four, five, six rounds to have a fresh magazine. All right, guys, so that's condition one reload. All right, guys, so for out of ammo reload, of course, I'm going to have to slide to the rear so I can simulate that. Some guys like to press the slide release. Some guys like to uh, uh, to push back on the slide. Me, personally, I like to push back on the slide. So again, guys, you encountering the enemy. Bam, 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 bam. Now it's time to reload. I come down here where I'm still facing down to the enemy. Withdraw the magazine, get my new magazine. I still have eyes on the enemy, and I'm ready to engage the enemy. All right, guys, so again, condition one reload out of ammo reload. Those are my two reloads that I utilize. If you guys got any comments, go ahead and put them below. Like, uh, share, subscribe. Like always, God is in control.